Eight Jamaican nationals were today extradited to the United States on a 66-count indictment related to lottery scamming activities. So we really want to be clear uh, to everyone here in Jamaica, both the law-abiding citizens and the lotto scammers, that this is just the first step in a multi-pronged, multi-year effort to ensure that these criminal scourge is taken care of. This is a joint operation between Sea uh, Talk, MOCA, and a wide variety of U.S. federal law enforcement agencies, including the FBI. Members of the Fugitive Apprehension Team, U.S. Marshals, U.S. Postal Inspectors, and the JCF each played a role in the processing of the named individuals. Police Constable Jason Jahalal, Alric McLeod, Anil Brown, Kimberly Hudson, Dario Palmer, Janu Ann Morgan, Dahlia Hunter, and her son, Kaz Ray Gray. For these uh, alleged criminals, they have been charged with a conspiracy to defraud over $5 million from America's most vulnerable citizens, and we are 100% confident that they're going to be uh, spending decades in jail. The U.S. authorities have enjoyed a 100% conviction rate of all of those who have been extradited under the advance fee or lottery scamming laws. And according to Joshua Polachek, there are many more to come. Right now, we have uh, dozens of extradition cases that are already at the extradition stage. Another three to 500 are pre-extradition stage. And between the Jamaican investigations and the investigations in the United States, we're looking at uh, three to 5,000 active investigations. As you can see, the first ones are being loaded onto the plane right now. They're going to be flown to Oklahoma City to be processed by immigration. And then another flight to Bismarck, North Dakota, where it is zero degrees right now. Um, it is going to be a long 20 years in a federal penitentiary in North Dakota uh, for these uh, alleged criminals. Mr. Polacek admitted plea bargaining would be available to those being extradited in the hope that a case can be built against the controllers of the lottery scamming operations in Jamaica. What's unique is that we've not just gone after the scammers, but some of the people providing support. As you know, there's a, a police constable who's part of this extradition case. That shows that no one is above the law and that if you provide support to these scammers, Together, we're going to find you, we're going to identify you, and we're going to get you onto a plane back to the United States. Joel Crosskill, CVM News.